During an interview with poet laureate Simon Armitage, the Prince of Wales revealed what his eight-year-old grandson gets up to at Charles Cotswold's residence. Charles, 72, was speaking to Mr. Armitage from his Carmarthenshire farmhouse, Le Win Y W R M O D. The Prince of Wales explained in his BBC interview how George enjoyed measuring himself against a tree he planted at his estate on the other side of the River Severn. He said, the fun is to get grandchildren to plant a tree now and then see so they can measure themselves, if you know what I mean, by the size of the tree. The Cambridge's eldest child planted a balsam tree at the Highgrove estate in Gloucestershire in 2015, aged just two. Speaking about George Tree, Charles said, This thing has shot up. I mean it's higher than this barn already, which for a child is quite satisfactory when you can say, look at it now. It's grown about three feet a year. Not many do that. The Highgrove estate was built in the late 18th century. Prince Charles purchased the property from the son of ex-conservative Prime Minister Harold Macmillan in 1980. According to Highgrove's website, Charles Cotswold's address unfolds in a succession of personal and inspiring tableaus, each reflecting the Prince's interests and enthusiasms. It has been suggested by a royal expert that Highgrove could fall into Prince George's hands in the near future. Christopher Wilson believes the house would inevitably become surplus to the requirement for the future king and therefore would be given to his eldest grandson. The Duke and Duchess of Cornwall share four residences in the UK. Alongside their homes in Carmarthenshire and the Cotswolds, Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles spend their time at Clarence House near St. James Park and Burkhall in Scotland. While Charles became the Prince of Wales in 1958, he did not have a property in the Principality until he purchased his Carmarthenshire home in 2006. Speaking to Simon Armitage about Le Win YWRMOD, Charles said, it is wonderful coming down here. And I love coming in the winter when I can at a weekend. And I stump about in the Brecon beacons and explore, which is magic, and fight my way through large numbers of sheep all over the place. It is very special because it's more of a cottage. The Duke of Cornwall's conversation with Simon Armitage was broadcast on BBC Radio 4 and BBC Sounds at 7. 15 p.m. on Saturday, August 28. Related articles Meghan Markle and Prince Harry want get over celebrity party snub William and Kate braced for painful weekend. Queen heartbroken Harry and Meghan could become irrelevant like Edward VIII and Wallace.